Hey guys and welcome to episode number eight. I've got stickers and you don't. Yeah, I know. I need to get my, my decals <laughs> Um So, uh, we, oh, you're in a look. I don't think that would fit you, would it? Oh yeah, you well, make it fit. Um, we are talking about a bunch of stuff today. I wanted to jump straight in with one with you that I think is very interesting. And I think you'll agree, um, Hosier is going to be a global star. I've been saying it for... I've been saying it for long. I don't know how long. No. <laughs> um, no, I remember I saw him... I saw him first in... Where did I see him first? Wheelands, I think it was. Mm. Or was it before? Was it that Was it that gig that sold out in a minute or something yeah. in Wheelands? Yeah. Yeah, and I went to see him and... Like, there was... Two, three hundred people there. It was, it was pretty small. Like yeah. it wasn't packed, Wheelands, and yeah. it was he was amazing. And then saw him again in the academy just before he went when he did his tour of um, America. America when he was on all the shows. Yeah, um, and he got even better. Yeah, and then I saw him again at uh, Longitude. Cool. Is he? What was and he like outside? I was worried. I was there yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. I was there going a little bit worried. Going, what's he going to be like in in that surrounding? Because you know, it's different. Different. Yeah. 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 And he blew it out of the, he blew really? it out of the park. Uh, absolutely amazing. Like he's got a a, a, a seriously big. Boy, when I first saw him, I, I thought I was going to come across this like you know, south, you know, deep south Alabama kind of yeah, yeah. real jazz kind of singer or something. Yeah. And it's like this. This tall, skinny white boy from yeah, yeah. from Dalky or wherever, Grace, yeah. wherever he's from, you know? right, yeah, they get, yeah. yeah, and you're kind of going, whoa! And it's funny, a couple of the guys, um, two of the guys who are in in Leinster, um, know him from school, and uh, they say it's hilarious. Like, but um, he looks like this is just such a mate. I've just seen pictures and videos and stuff, and he looks like sort of one of those geeky music kids who'd just be like really into it. like he doesn't feel like his he's, voice is amazing yeah. like and his skills on the guitar he doesn't feel apparently like they were fighting over him like their music companies were fighting really? over, over who, who, who was going to sign him um he's he did a thing there this week i don't know if you saw it on radio one in the uk live session where he covered oh, the arctic monkeys. so good those live sessions are so good they're amazing did you see him cover the arctic monkeys no uh, watch it when you get home it's it's better than take me to church really yeah it's insane. Yeah, just, um, it's 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 that good. Uh, I'll send you a link after this. He's on Jules Holland, and he's on what else would be the biggest music show out there? Two huge ones in the next couple of weeks. Zane, Zane Lowe? No, something else. But like he's he's like basically he'll break. He'll be global star. Oh shoot! Well, when he he was. Like he was on all the, the, the TV shows, like Jimmy Fallon and that, and went down an absolute treat. And apparently, yeah. he was killing it over there. Yeah, the came back. His EPs, like his EPs, were getting eaten alive. Yeah, you know what I mean. And now he's dropped the album. I actually haven't listened to no. the album yet. I haven't got the chance. I think he only he dropped what last Thursday or Friday. Yeah. And um, so I'd say that like he'll start touring properly soon enough. I'd imagine yeah. off the back of that album. I think, um, or maybe you never know. Imagine him. Um, Warming up for something like U2 or something. Yeah. He could be what, like... Oh, no, nah, there's something that could happen, no? Yeah, definitely, no? definitely. Um, although, it all depends on record companies, that sort of stuff. I'd like, say, like, whoever manages U2 want to, like, put their band in front of, like... Who are U2? Like, uh, Universal, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. But, like, they'd want to put their up-and-coming star in front yeah. of... It'd be a nice touch, though, to have that another, uh, another, another Irish artist. How big could he be? Huge. Like global huge, yeah. Okay, I was a bit worried because I saw the first time I saw it was the video. Have you seen the video for Taking to Church? Where it's, I, I actually haven't. Like, no, I'll watch it. That's the video is nearly better than the song. I, although you need the song, it's like two gay guys or a guy who's having trouble coming out as gay, sort of. And it's like there's guys by it's really I, like music videos are kind of on these days. Like you don't see them. Yeah, I was, I was telling something about that. I remember like the last time I remember a massive hype about a music video was. Um, Oasis, Stand By Me. Oh, really? And I remember literally MTV had a countdown yeah, and yeah, everything yeah, yeah. to it. Like, um, you mind you, though, Jennifer Lopez dropped a video there the other day insane. and that caused a bit of a stir on I the internet. What was it, like nakedness or... She's grinding. pretty much just twerking for a whole three minutes. Right. And which, in fairness, she looks well for she a woman twerk. who's in her, like, she's what, mid-40s? Yeah, yeah. 
um, so her. Play to her. Yeah, absolutely. She's had like kid, little kids and like the whole lot. Still be twerking at that age. <laughs> Some going. Um, I the, my first one. It just shows like I'm a bit older than you. Was uh, Michael Jackson? Like I think it was the one around the world. Oh, um, what have we done to the world? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah, like, there was like you know. I remember like, that one as well. Oh, yeah, really? yeah, yeah. The one where he's holding the trees. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'd be like there was a play a, 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 when MTV used to play music, there was a top ten videos of the day or something. Yeah. And you'd want to get some. Now it's just like I don't know. You might see one on Vivo or yeah, something. Yeah, it's weird. It's, like, and, and uh, it's just such a shame because you got like real cool artists, like you know, OK Go. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah, come yeah, up yeah. with really, really cool yeah, ones yeah, and put yeah, a lot yeah. of time into yeah. it. Like, I think they were the first, maybe not the exact first, but the ones to spill it into YouTube. They were like, "Fuck this TV, we'll do yeah. the, we'll do one especially for a YouTube audience." Uh, you see what you see what they're doing now. Apparently, um, Google or, or YouTube are starting to pay, like you know, like artists or like TV shows that start out on YouTube. Yeah, and like you know, some of them grow exponentially in terms of subscribers yeah, yeah, and yeah, followers yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. And they're starting to now pay them to stay on it and right. not take it off the TV <clears throat> right. or anything like that. Right, and um, it just goes to show like it's part the of power it. of. Then you say that like vid- videos are dead, but like if you look at. Gangnam Style or Nicki Minaj yeah. or they all have like two three hundred views. I think Rihanna's like on two billion. So like it's, it's not dead. It's just no, a different. No, it's just a different place. Yeah. yeah, different different form. The for kids it. are obviously waiting for the latest well, Rihanna like one to drop. It's or, the biggest. Uh, YouTube is like the, the second biggest search engine after yeah, Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, people go. I know lads that go watch like uh, NFL Hard Knocks That's on YouTube say, documentories on YouTube. You know what I mean? Did you? I. I That's why Netflix is so popular. I think. I was totally jumping the subject. I was reading about it this morning. Why did you ring my mind? Uh, yeah, the the NFL with your man Rice. What's going on? Like, there's, there's uproar last night about your man didn't resign the commissioner. Or oh, something. well, apparently, yeah. Now, so if you haven't seen it, it's a... Basically, NFL, have you like, seen the video? Yeah, it's disgusting. It's like he, where he, he knocks the... Like, oh, my God. Yeah, so they're in a, a, a lift go at a function or something yeah i think she's his fiance at the time yeah and, and she kind of comes she kind of comes at him yeah and i don't even, she kind of comes at him she hasn't and really like hit him shouting, yeah like she's... And i don't know her like it's just the quickest punch i've ever seen like. yeah like you, you, mike but tyson would be yeah, yeah. you know what i mean and not bang. just that but he smacks his head on the, or she smacks her head on the railing on the way oh down. She, she's ko she's out of it and but then the weirdest thing and she's like she's sticking up for her husband oh she's sticking up for him yeah oh my god you know, that's... we've worked towards this. This is our whole life. Now, I, I mean, but the whole thing that that's happened is that the, apparently the NFL knew about the video. Yeah. And in he, April, and he came out and told them. Yeah. <clears throat> way back. <clears throat> and they they kind of just. Why would they want to cover it up? And not like make it it's him America's a game. They're they're really yeah, trying yeah, to make yeah, it into yeah. a family game. And um. But there's lads in that like. You know the way you'd see controversies in football or rugby or whatever, yeah. like stuff, like not that it's bad stuff, but not, like in that there's like lads doing dog fighting, <laughs> there's lads well, doing... Well, Michael Vick, like, who got done and spent time, is back in the NFL playing. And he, he had what, like a 200 dogs or something mm. out in, there's like people, there's murderers, there's like, it's a, it's a different... There's a guy from the Patriots who's now up for, uh, I think he's double homicide, Gonzalez up for a double homicide. There was like a, a sexual assault one there last yeah. week, so like it's... And then there's a couple of them who were recently for... Um, Oh, overuse of discipline <laughs> on that? kids like oh jeez yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah 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 you know gone are the days of getting a whack with a wooden spoon across your back of the legs more like a tie them up and... <laughs> no not tie them up <laughs> no, <but they're> like... <laughs> <laughs> what household are you <laughs> in like <laughs> I was going to say no I won't say that. an Austrian guy um, <laughs> oh, but <geez. laughs> uh yeah, so it's it just it's it's very weird, isn't it? Yeah, but well, like, I mean, surely they should be like, boom, you're banned for life, get out of here. Is he a great? But player? it's a weird sport. Like at times, it's weird. Like I mean, a lot of them get done for for drugs, you know. But it, like, you know, you get tested in house over there. Oh right, yeah, right. and you get bans on certain performance enhancing drugs and recreational drugs aren't as things are serious and it, right, it's quite right, different right. than other sports right. uh, in that regard um, and there's a lot of money floating around like a, a yeah but like, i mean you go back it, it's not like it's anything new because i went i read a book down the dallas cowboys in, in the it's in the 80s or 90s when they were really really good yeah 
and like it's called Boys Will Be Boys. It's an unbelievably great book. Right. But it's all about what they, what they got up to. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, yeah. some of the lads were like doing cocaine in the sideline. Yeah, yeah, of yeah, a game. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they had a place called the White House beside their training. They called it the White House beside their training facility, and basically had nothing but strippers and prostitutes in there. Jesus. And, and if they're looking for a lad, they ring up. They ring up the white. They just go, oh, ring the white house, and the physios ring the white house, and the lads are there That's up insane. to no good. Insane, and they were successful. Yeah, okay, you so know, maybe you should ask for that to be introduced. No, 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 <laughs> no. 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 Um, that's that's mad. Yeah, yeah. Um, but is it so? Is it? I don't know if it, but like, does that sell the game? But see, now that everything's so open, everything's so easy, accessible, like that wouldn't have got, you wouldn't have gotten gotcha. away with that. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the, if there's probably people people hitting her in the lift or whatever back then, but it, there was no cameras. Well, like I mean, like, I mean, unfortunately, domestic abuse has been going on for. But that's so like long. it's not that you can when well, you can't justify any of the others murder or no. fighting. But the, domestic abuse is like like it's if it's like, true, if they were trying to, to hide it for the persona of the game, that it, that's a real shame. That's a real it shame. Is, it is. Um, there's a stat, now I'm making this up, but it's not far from the truth. <laughs> I'm making this stat up, but we're going to go with it. I think it's two-thirds of people who are in the NFL within 10 years of leaving oh, the game. No, it's are, less. Are, it's, it's three years. More, three years, are bankrupt, or like have no Are, are bankrupt and or divorced. Yeah. So I like that's not the exact yeah. stat, but it's in that sort of... Like so, so what? They're just like it's the sort of making it rain in strip clubs, and it's the no. There's a couple of different things, you know. Some of them, some of them get caught up in, in they don't use, they don't plan with their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, there was a great article where it came out about two years ago when the basketball players were on strike, and a lot of guys drinking coke out of wine. <laughs> just in case you're wondering, uh, we're we're literally going from paycheck to paycheck, but other guys are like putting money away, investing right. in different things, and we're fine when they went on strike because they didn't get paid, but they had money to fall back right, on. Right, right, right. The other guys are literally. You know, you know when you first start getting paid, yeah, like you're, you know, uh, iPhone as everything. But like you were like literally from, I think from pretty much from the age of twenty one to twenty five, I was going paycheck yeah. to paycheck. Course, you know what I mean? Course. It's and that so does everybody. Yeah, everyone does it. Yeah. So, you know, and then you finally cop on and go, oh yeah. right, yeah. Um, so I think some of them just are slow to catch on to it. It's, yeah, it sounds know. like it's a troubled. But well, uh, some people are coming from from backgrounds where maybe. They weren't shown how to. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Look that, after it, you know, and maybe maybe that's something the NFL and I'm sure the NFL do, and I'm sure the NFL players union try to to help them. Because I know them. from our rugby, they Irupa, they really try to help you in financial planning, education. But can you? I don't know the numbers in NFL, but can you imagine if you're a, a soccer player and you're like seventeen or whatever, and you're like imagine you at seventeen, right? And then all of a sudden you're on. 80, 90 grand a week. Like, I love the Damien Duff story. You ever hear about him? No. So when he started making good money, apparently his, his mom basically um, gave him an allowance. Right. So his, his money that was coming into his account, he was like, right, there's, we're parking the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. Here's your allowance. Yeah. And you can make purchases, all right? You can buy yeah, things, yeah, but yeah. you have to come to me to get it cleared. Right. And that and was he's it. probably got and like 30 it, gaps now and... But yeah, and and he kind of worked out well for him because I, I think he's he's invested pretty well. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, but not every parent, like a lot of parents, might be like, "Here, give me half of that, and I'll go and." Well, know, that's the know, thing. Like some people, yeah. some people got to watch out for hangers on, and and, yeah. and and maybe agents or other people that whose intentions aren't. Yeah. Does it solely go, for the benefit of the of the. There's a football player in England, Mikel, who I think when he first came to England. He had an entourage staying in a hotel with him of 30 people. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So, like, 30 people could get through, you know, like, if you get through a grand a week in a hotel, like, that's 30 grand, you know, so, like, it's... But, um... That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> but then, it's like, it's like entourage, the, the, the thing, like, if you hit the big, big time, like, he pays for his four mates. That movie's coming out. Do you like entourage? Oh, do I. Come on. <laughs> I, like, I Come don't on, think we've right. ever talked about it, but I was like, yeah. It's the best course. show ever. It is, yeah. Because you're just, it's yeah, like yeah. one of the blokes, and he actually just goes about it the way one of the yeah. lads would, like. Yeah, yeah. And you always, like, you sort of pick the four or five of them. Four? Oh uh, yeah, and you're within and you're your like own, within yeah, your yeah. own crew, you're always <laughs> like, yeah, you're terrible. <laughs> Every, but I just want to be Ari. <laughs> Ari Ari's amazing. But that movie's wrapped now, and it, I think it's out next summer. Yeah, and I love the fact that it's all kind of based 
loosely on on Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg yeah. and his kind of introduction into that world. I'd say it's pretty accurate. You know the stuff that they get like yes, yeah. it's. it's, it's um, Do you watch Ray Donovan? The other side no. of it. Oh, Ray Donovan's a good show. It's kind of like they're guys who are fixers in LA. Right. And uh, it's, in, it's just coming to the close of season two on Sky Atlantic right now. And uh, oh, it's it, it kind of shows you like like what you, you could see how some of the stuff like the stuff happens and people getting away with it yeah, because yeah, of yeah. these guys behind the scenes. Yeah. But is it? Yeah. See, I was in LA recently and so was my mate Sean and we were just saying like. I'd love to have a go, like just going out and be like being an Ari at the bottom of like twenty three or something, and just trying to work, work your way up. At the, like it's cutthroat. There's yeah. like people would. That you need to be sharp street wise over there. Yeah. I'd say like it's yeah. cool city though. I don't know if I'd live there. Uh, okay, couple more topics. Uh, I've got uh, recovery. Why have I got that? Oh, uh, just yeah, just uh, it's more for. People always, like, when you're talking about fitness and stuff, they're interested. What? I don't know if it's as appropriate, but you know the way, like, if somebody's going to the gym three times a week mm. and they want to recover really quickly, like, you guys obviously do it at a work speed because you need to get back yeah. and you're getting the crap beaten out of you. But, like, what's what's tips for people to get their muscles back? Well, first shape? thing first, right, straight after a session, you got to get feel into you. What's fuel? Fuel, like, you got to get some food or a supplement Unleaded. into you. Yeah, <laughs> um, the, the product I use is one from Maxi Nutrition called uh, Cyclone. Oh, it's, it's all you're doing that thing during the week. Yeah, it's, it's the best. What is that? Is one that hit, one like. Or... No, 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 it's a shake. So you just, oh, okay. you know, put it into about three, four hundred mils of water, shake it up, and it's got your, the perfect mix of carbs, proteins, uh, good fats. Um, and you know all the other little things that you need and do you think uh you know me doing a 30 minute jog around do i need to be eating it or like do uh, i just get some chicken into me or like what how well like no 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 ideally food is always like 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 food is always ideal but right. i'm talking about like if you're doing it for training you're doing it for work or something yeah. like that it's the perfect like you right. put it in your shaker you don't have to mix up beforehand it's put like it in your shaker what? what does it make you feel full no but like you've got that 30 minutes window to get fuel into you after training and it's the perfect one to get into you it's the perfect one to um hit all the bases and then you get food you have lunch or breakfast or whatever a little while later and um, the other thing there's always ice baths i'm reading some questions sorry <laughs> i asked people if they had questions there's somebody saying uh do a video of Niall trying to tackle Jamie. We'll do that one week to see, like, if you're... you, you I'm, you're, we're, we're, we're signing away for that. <laughs> okay, so. Sorry, I interrupted you there. Ice baths. Uh, well, yeah, you, well, the other three was you have to do ice baths, really cold baths. You actually don't. I, the water, just, like, if you pour it, um, fill the bath, just cold water. That's fine. And sit in it for 10 minutes. That's another recovery protocol we use. Um, for people, let's say, who are doing a little bit more running, like guys who are training up for 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon, um, there are some great products like the Firefly. Um, it's like a little electric pulse thing you put on your legs. Right. It's like active recovery. Right. What's um, those things you wrap your legs in? Uh, well, there's two things. There's a thing called uh, CompuSport we use, which are like, uh, they're kind of like really good compression garments. Right. You can get calf ones, thigh ones, or full leg ones. I just like the calves ones because I don't like suffer up there. Yeah. Okay. Um, I use a thing called Normatec, which is like compression pumps. Now that's now that's you're high end. Yeah, you're yeah. starting to get into like they, they're not cheap. Yeah, and you're starting to get into you're you're obviously pretty serious about your yeah. triathlons or Ironmans territory yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. or you're playing a lot of sports. Um, so what's something that like you know the man or woman on the street could apply like a little trick? I I would say that you get the basics is 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 sleep and um, get your fuel in okay. um, after after training. And should you like? train every back-to-back days or you know like I, I, well we go i tell you what, we go monday tuesday day off wednesday thursday like in pre-season it's monday tuesday day off wednesday thursday friday and that's enough and that's it and sometimes you do you might go monday tuesday we do two sessions monday two sessions tuesday one session wednesday two on thursday two on friday weekend off yeah, yeah but you could break that up you know if you're you know if you're just training normally i'd imagine you could do something like you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. You know, Saturday morning. Yeah. Whatever. There was a guy I, when I used to work on the yachts who was a personal trainer and he came from the NFL and he trained the boss and he trained, I think, two days a week 
for like half an hour, right? Tuesday and Thursday or something like mm. that. And I, and he did th- 30 minutes and he was like ripped all over, whatever yeah. way. Like he just watched his diet and like he just knew the extra, but it just showed me that like, you don't need to be in there 10 hours a week. You no, know? you don't, no, you don't. Food, uh, diet, is, diet is huge, diet yeah. is huge, diet is huge. Um, there's some questions I just asked people if they had uh, questions Phil says ask now can I have his iPhone 6 uh, when is Jamie Heaslip going to make us a batch of his famous brownies do you have them. famous brownies yeah I have unbelievable brownies Nicola in the office oh right <laughs> you must have been asking her were you um, no I've, uh, I've, I've gone on about my brownies anytime anyone asks me what's my signature dish and brownies it's like, it's brownies yeah uh, so I can make I can make I can get a batch going together. I haven't made a batch in a while. Because um, I tend to, the minute I make them, I have to get them out of my house. Oh, because you eat the whole thing? Yeah. Uh, there's a guy here called LL Bulldog saying, may I ask Jamie, does his bully also snore like a freight train or yeah. is it just mine? No. They all I've heard him. <laughs> yeah, you've heard him. Yeah. It's, he's loud. He needs to... Uh, Don't worry. It's just the battery. battery one. Um, it needs to go into... He, I, have, I make him sleep upstairs. Yeah, you can't sleep on my floor. No chance. No. Um, I, my cousin's one wasn't quite as bad. He was just like lighter. But yours is. Oh, when he is, gets going, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like he's like a drama. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Just their ah, yeah. uh, it's the way. Yeah, the the bread yeah. and the snout is unfortunately. Uh, so do a video, yeah, of of so me trying to tackle you. Could I? I wonder, could I run away now? You'd catch me. i just. Uh, we, we might do that one week as a little segment, like fucking. <laughs> Maybe like if we got like you know those big inflatable sumo suits. Yeah. Maybe that way. Yeah. And I run at you. Have you ever played Zorb Ball? No, but I've seen it. Oh, it's so much fun! It's where you've got the you know Zorb where you roll. Yeah, but you you put it on your runner and you play football. Yeah, it's really good because it's not. Ah, no. In fairness, the couple of the biggest lads like by size were were pretty good at it. But if you're sort of crafty, you can. I've seen it. Yeah, it looks good fun because you can't see really what's going on. So I could come up and smack you from behind. Like so, if you five lads, it's and brilliant. you can't really damage yourself. Too no, much. you can't at all. Like the first time I was kind of, you just you can't hurt yourself. It's impossible. That sounds pretty sweaty. Though. It is. It's but it's. Uh, and Where it's, is it in Dublin? It's mostly stags. I'd say there's somewhere that we did it in like Carrick on Shannon, but it's it's oh, really okay. good fun. Uh, could, we might do the one. We'll do a series of challenges where, you, like, I stand on your back and you. Do maybe we get. Maybe we get. Um, um, people start sending in some some challenges. Some challenges. Yeah, I think. Like, could you do twenty press ups with me sitting on your back, like having a pint? <laughs> We're gonna avoid <laughs> me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, what else did I have? Oh yeah, so the web summit's coming up. Yeah. And I was just looking, there's some good guests coming uh, over. I'm really interested to see Peter too. Yeah. Really interested. Yeah. Get his views on where things are going. Yeah, he's a smart guy. Did you see what he said during the week? Oh, what is that? He said that he thought the Twitter management were smoking oh, weed. Oh, yeah. Smoking yeah. weed all yeah. day. Yeah, I did see That's that. That's a pretty damning thing to be saying. Is like. he invest in Twitter? No, Facebook. Oh, okay, yeah. And him and Zuckerberg, have, I think there's a quote where Zuckerberg said Twitter's like, uh, a bunch of clowns driving their car into a money pit like that it's just they just sort of stumbled upon it and they're just you know like it, yeah. it was just a little idea and it's been terribly managed is that just a little bit of like well they shouldn't be saying it. No, they're 10 that... times bigger like why yeah. why say stuff like yeah. that you know like that's like you saying about it took them it took, or... it took them ages, ages it took them ages to Start generating revenue, and yeah. now they feel all high and mighty just because yeah. they're generating revenue now. Like, like especially, like especially a, an investor, like that's like your coach, you know, slagging some yeah. other smaller yeah. team, you know, like Zebra or something, and saying, "Oh, they're cla-. like, why you just don't do it? Like, you stay classy." Um, you stay classy, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, Web Summit. I was looking at the guests, and I kind of had a question, and I was thinking about it myself, and it's an uh, age-old question. Dinner party, four people, three guests, and you. Who's your like anybody in the world? Who can you have over for dinner as your as your guests? LeBron James. LeBron James, yeah. Uh, Billy Connolly. Yeah. And probably. Oh. I'm trying to think of a, like an intra. I was going to say Zuckerberg, but I, I just don't know how the conversation would go. 
yeah. over to him at the table. Um, yeah, he'd be a bit awkward. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of a really interesting kind of tech guy. Larry Page? I don't know if he'd be that interesting either. Uh, no, no, no. Um, which one is heading up um, Google X again? Not Larry. Sergi Brin. Sergi, yeah. Yeah, Sergi. Yeah, Sergi. I think I'd go Zuckerberg. Uh, Bill Clinton, because I think he'd be he'd have great oh, he'd stories be, yeah. to tell. Like, he <laughs> seems like a good lad. <laughs> yeah, he'd have seriously entertaining stuff to tell. And then I'd go for a girl because I'm single, so... Uh, Even like Laura? Yeah. Are you trying to plug Even like Laura? Now she's going for the West so much. I don't, she wouldn't be my type. Uh, I try, who's the hottest girl in the world at the moment? Um, my missus keeps going on about like all the Victoria's Secret models. She loves like Giselle Bunchen. Yeah. Um, I think she's like she's a good bit older now, though, isn't she, Giselle? Like she was going out with Leo. And, but she's probably... Yeah, so, but, yeah. Somebody like she's that. She's very picky. Yeah, 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 any of them. Um, for their intellect and conversation. Now, Giselle, it's like... She's she actually loads. came out a really good ad. Did you see the ad for Under Armour? No. I thought it was really, really smart. It's like, it's just her in, like, she's in Under Armour gear and, and there's a boxing bag and she's kind of doing um, kickboxing in it. Right. But they're like, it's in a really barren warehouse and they're okay. flashing up, like... Um, tweets and stuff that what, what people said Say about, about her, her. Oh, like good, and her good and bad oh, okay. and good. really really good like. very good yeah. I think she's she's got business like she's very she's smart. a global brand yeah. for herself like she's, yeah. she's she'd be very interesting so Giselle Bill Clinton and Zux so it'll probably be me and Zux and Bill crack it off <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like I'm just gonna go down <laughs> I love you he'd be having a cigar I'm yeah, a cigar yeah. man so I'll be I, Bill would be another one um okay so yeah web summit should be good um I you're think, gonna go obviously yeah definitely yeah. like it's a great place for raising money and connections and yeah look it's really good energy around the place yeah like. and then you got the sports summit you got the food summit going on yeah Pub summit will be going on in the evenings uh, well, i heard a stat well, from them that nearly 90 percent of their visitors are from outside yeah. of ireland now. so yeah. it's, it's not but it's great i, I love it like uh, what, what patty has done there uh, has been amazing, you know, yeah. and um, actually met with Emma Le- Eamon Leonard. Um, Leonard during the week, and cool. he's now on board with him as well, yeah. and chatting to him, and, you know, it's really interesting to see, you know, like, for the idea and where they started, where it yeah. is now, and the money that's bringing into the country. Yeah, 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 it's Like, insane. all the, ho- like, not just people buying tickets for that. No, no, the but hotels. Like, the full. hotels, the bars, yeah. you know, restaurants, taxis. But the, the, the way to do it is like people, and you know, not rightly so, but it's a big conference. It's not cheap. And a lot of Irish people are like, oh, it's too expensive. We can't afford it and stuff like that. And like, look, a lot of people can't, but there's like pub crawls. Do you know what I mean? Like with the biggest Peter Thiel and people like that will be on a pub crawl going around Dublin. You know, yeah. who's, who's the one of the first investors in Facebook. There's events, fringe events. Like you don't necessarily have to go and buy a two grand ticket. Like you're, there's ways no. to, to... But in fairness to Paddy, like yeah, they, they, they tiered it. Like, I mean, if you, yeah. if you had a big interest, all yeah. you do is buy early doors. Yeah, and I think that's 500 quid ish or 600 or something like that like, yeah it's not that's still not cheap no but it's, it's the best even if i was a graduate just out of yeah. ucd or somewhere like that and i you know i, I and they do it really well like there's okay granted there's one or two keynote speeches i never really particularly like people no. doing keynotes i much prefer prefer the kind of debates the, the fireside, fireside chats yeah, yeah you know because yeah. i think you get it's more informed you get more out of it yeah. you're not being talked at yeah um and hopefully I'll be doing something like that there myself, actually. You were there at it last year, weren't you? Uh, I was there last year speaking, and, and um, I hope to do the that same. That was a fire so, side chat. Yeah, up on the main stage. It was yeah, great. Yeah. I also got to uh, stand right beside Paddy and, and our tea oh, shop right. when they the hit, the, hit the bell, which, I was, think uh, uh, which was great. I thought it, yeah, Paddy was like, oh, come up on the stage. And I thought I did, and I just kind of stood at the back. And yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah. And then, but then he was like, come on up the front. It was nice. great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a good, good moment, and I think there's more stuff like that, that planned, so it'll, it's great. It's, oh, you it's huge. It I mean, and like for us, like, like for me personally to be there is going to be really, really interesting. And then also, we've got a pub around there, so it's going to be really oh, lively yeah, for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Forgot about that. Yeah, you know, and, and then in Are town, we doing a show great. from the pub? We'll have to do, like, is there a little. Yeah, 100%. Look or. Well, album? again, we're going to obviously, you know, like you know from, from working in kitchen stuff, we're going to open up. We'll get it going, yeah. two, three weeks, and then we'll get that, we'll get you in, 
Well, I never do a review on Love in Dublin or anywhere if somewhere's just open because it's just not fair. No. So, like, it's like... But I mean, I mean, not, not, not necessarily the food. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to know. But when, anything, yeah. anything. Like... Uh, but get you in and show you the place. Like, you're bringing all these staff into a new place and, like, you're expected everything to be perfect. In the, it, it just never is. It's, ah, it's, it's like anything. It takes a little bit of... Time to gel. That you're getting used to. Yeah. Um, but no, that's exciting. And it's called... The Bridge 1859. It's up on all social media channels. Somebody has a question there, actually, just that I remember about it. Why Why did he not call his pub The Balls? Really? Yeah, I can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool, so I think that's it. You're off to play with all your new Apple devices, which is a good thing to be doing. Yeah, I'm going, well, no, I'm actually going to the, I'm going to the pub. Oh, um, very nice. I'm checking out some things in the pub, and then... Is um, there beer flowing in the taps? No, they wouldn't have that yet, would um, they? Well, no, the last day I was there, they're putting it, They're actually putting in the taps. Right. The last day. We have two bars, one downstairs, one upstairs. Why don't we get a big, big, big couple of tech people to sit in on a show during the Web Summit in the pub? Like, guests, like as a guest, do you know what I mean? Because I people might be sort of sick of listening to me and you get like a evil Longoria in between us. If the Love and Dublin team can manage that, yeah, we will we'll, happily host that. We'll get it sorted, I think, and then have a live audience and uh, Love and Dublin will buy everybody yeah. a pint. I'm, oh, I'm looking forward to my the boxes. I'm trying the boxes again. Yes. Now that they're up and run, rerun and redone. Yeah, rejigged. So I've got a, a big order coming in four times this week in Lancaster. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. They're, so, they're very good, actually. They're healthy. Yeah. Just worry about you boys and portion size. Yeah, no, no, but no, I, I'm, I'm looking at it as, an, as a nice tie over post training yeah. before dinner it's, it's, like for most people for us it's a meal but I just worry about you guys like at the end of a training session you try to demolish one of them yeah. and you'd be you know like the, but that's that's exactly it's packed full of the good stuff um, cool so that's it uh, talk to you all next week cheers <laughs>